Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and right now I need to carve this pumpkin, and I will tell you that I'm not a very good pumpkin carver. I just find squash so hard to cut into. So I'm going to do a little face, I'm going to have an open mouth, and I'm going to make some guacamole. And tomorrow, when we have our Frightening Foods Festival, the guacamole is going to be coming out of the pumpkin. The one thing I can say about this pumpkin is, I didn't cut myself. And I grew this pumpkin, so that's fun. Now to make the guacamole. The guacamole is finished. <laughs> There's the mess. We've got red onion, garlic, tomatoes, salt, lime juice, avocados. I think that's it. Oh, cilantro. and red rice crispy tree. I got a few things in the mail today. Uh, a friend shared that she found a book thrifting. It was this book. And the images were so great in it, so I had to go online and find it. And I think when you see this first page, if you have watched my videos for a while, you would know why I love these images. I just love uh, these nature illustrations. There's a great image of a pumpkin, but I love all these other vegetables. I thought the colors were beautiful behind the web. For dinner tonight, we have salmon. Um, my daughter just likes hers plain with no mayonnaise. We've got here mayonnaise and dill. And this has a tad of mayonnaise, a little dill. My son wants to try it all out. And then I have some riced cauliflower with green pepper, cherry tomatoes, garlic, some chicken seasoning, zucchini, red onion, mm, pepper, and a little feta cheese. You can even put some Kalamata olives in there, that's good. So it's a nice um, way to use up stuff that you have in the fridge. I also like broccoli a lot with uh, salmon, but I didn't have any, so this is what we are having. I'm at Michael's and the Halloween was 60 and 70% off. They had that neat Art Deco pillow there. And so I decided to browse. This was neat, a little trinket dish with bat wings. I liked this mirror too, it's a skeleton. And when you look into the reflection, you can see the front, it's got some rhinestones and some embellishments. It looks like a flapper to me. I was really impressed with the uh, products in this section and um, the ideas. So that candle was really neat with that skull on top. They all smelled good. I love the snake around the candle and I'm, I almost bought one and I thought, you know what? I could probably find a glass at home and I've got some of the snake jewelry. I could just wrap that around and make it my own candle holder. Some glittery tapers. And then they had a lot of these shapes, shaped candles. That one's a heart that I'm holding up. There was the rib cage before. The brains. And then some embellishments, cute washi tape. I was glad that I stopped in and I'll share with you what I bought when I get home. I went to the grocery store to pick up some ingredients for dinner and I was impressed with their decorations as well. I mean, they looked a lot like what Target has. So I don't know if the prices are comparable or not. I thought you'd like to see that, one of those ceramic Christmas trees but decorated for Halloween. This had a uh, pierced design, so a candle would show through. Eek, I believe the other one says boo. 
yeah, I thought it was cute. Kind of one-stop shopping, get some decorations, get your groceries. I haven't been uh, out and about much. <laughs> and now there's just a few days until Halloween, so I'm glad I got to see it. Before I head out, I'm going to share with you what I got at Michael's. Um, I also didn't have any coffee today, so I made my favorite like fall drink with the uh, seltzer water and honey crisp apple cider with cardamom and ginger oil. And I was thinking as I was just making it that the first time I ever tasted it was at Whole Foods, that flavor combination. And we were just at Whole Foods last night and I'm kicking myself for not walking around to see if they had any seasonal items just to get some ideas. So I might have to circle around <laughs> during my errands today and just check, check in there. So at Michael's, I specifically went to get paint for a project. So I got that, which is great because I've been thinking about that for a while. And then I checked out the Halloween section. So there were three candles, different colors, different scents. I liked the off-white kind of sugar cookie smell, but I really wanted the, the black I guess I could have painted it, um, but this one smells really good. I want to say it smells like the Abercrombie store, and I know that that scent, they really spray a lot of cologne in there, but it does smell good, very manly, um, and, and a little bit like anthropology as well, so this is, this is a nice scent. Look at the top with that little skull there. Oh my goodness. So that normally was 15 and it was on sale for six. This rang up as only $3 and it looked like it was a pretty good amount, 36 by 44 inches. And I thought that could look nice, turns um, like catty corner layered over top of this for Halloween. I might even do that now. So the kids are surprised when they come home from school. Um, what did I get? A, oh. This might be for my project as well, and this was $2.40, a little beaded spider. The snakes were $2, and there's a two-pack. Um, the scrunchie was $2.80, but it's a scrunchie and a velvet bow that I'd love for my daughter to wear, maybe even for Halloween. So I picked that up for her. Um, these little wooden plaques were... 80 cents. So originally $1.99 on sale for 80. And I thought the kids could paint those today. So I'm just thinking about little crafty fun stuff now that Halloween is only a few days away. And then I saw these near the checkout. They, somebody must have moved them and they're pretty gross the way that they feel and move. And they were $2, I think, and 40 cents or something. I just kept putting them back and then being like, no, you might regret it. Like, you know, you want to do something with these. So I got them. And my total with all the discounts and coupons was $31 for all of these. Things. Normally when the kids come home, I'll do like some little treat there if I'm going to give them one. So they'll kind of walk in and see that. And then I added the fabric. It was more rectangular than square. I could always change it to make it square or a runner would be really cute. So maybe that'll be a project this weekend. And then I just, I did take all of those little mice out. I really want to stick them in a jar with water so it looks like they're little like, oh goodness, I don't know what you call specimens. <laughs> that might be too gross, but this will freak them out. The firing went well. So this is all finished. These are really um, time consuming to make because you have to glaze in all these areas and not get it on the skull. And remember where you put three coats. So this one turned out pretty well after the first fire. It just needed like a touch up or two. And then I wanted to make sure that um, the outside was pretty solid. It's just a little clay dust that got on there. And then for this tray, I wanted to put one more um, coat of clear glaze on to just make sure that it was food safe. This is my pumpkin and I did some mason stains and I flicked some paint on it to make it look like dirt, but it's just like the first coat, but I did fire it and it lightened compared to what it was. And then I, um, I'm thinking kind of matte for the pumpkin, darker though. And this um, is very sparkly and like fingernail polish and purples and blacks and blues. And then this is my first student who came out and his pumpkin was fired first, so that's why it's glazed and the stem isn't, but he'll get to that 
next week, and I think he'll be very pleased with that. I'm back home. After school, I did go to a different grocery store because I wanted to um, pick up sushi for my daughter as another little treat, and I got gas. So at Whole Foods, they had this, organic apple pear ginger Italian soda. So it'll be uh, bubbly when it comes out. I don't believe that this was the one I had a few years ago, but I bet it will taste good because of apple pear and ginger together. It was on an end cap at Whole Foods that said, you know, this is our fall seasonal things. And this was about $3.59. This was at the checkout. <laughs> the pictures are really nice. The paper quality is great. So I might be able to use that at school uh, for a collage. But there's also like a lot of descriptions of food. And I thought maybe there might be recipes. Maybe. Not 100% sure. Or like just listing things as far as um, a menu. So I, I always like stuff like that. And then to just add to the little treats. Halloween treats after school. Goldfish. They're orange pretzels because I know they'll like them and sushi um I think my son might have some too but it's got the little orange eggs on there so that'll be a, a nice treat when they come home from school I'm sitting down I'm gonna light my candle and I'm gonna check my video clips to see how much I have string them together and probably post this vlog I know it was probably a lot of me talking and just errands but that's what I'm doing and that's <laughs> I don't know what else to share besides what I'm actually doing. Ooh, I like that with the um the skulls are reflected into that. Ooh. I will definitely be keeping that after the candle is done. As I'm sitting here, I'm thinking I definitely need to go back and get more. Thanks for watching. I'm about to cook dinner and film that, and I'll see all of you in another video. Bye.